Fluffy pants. Okay. Good morning, homesteading friends, family, everybody. We're glad you're here with us today. It is broiler processing day. A little disappointing broiler processing day. But we do have some birds to process, so we are going to process them and we are going to take you through the process of processing them. All right, so we're going to get started on this. My girls are experts at uh, the killing part of the chicken. Yeah. So, and we found that when you pick up your birds, if you're just doing a few, you pick them up with the legs, you hang them upside down, and they calm right down. You see they're not even flapping. So, we bought our kill cones. We're going to get them put in the kill cones. Reach underneath and pull his head through. Reach in for his head. Make sure it goes in through. There you go. Head down. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And I've got our other rooster over here who thinks he's going to attack these guys. No, we won't fine. show the actual killing, but show, show, pull out and just kind of, don't do it yet, but show, just point with your knife like where you cut. Like right here, about, like, you find kind of like the corner of the jawbone and it's like along here. Right there, and you don't want to cut their air uh, pipe because that'll cause them to really flip out and whatever, but if you just do the, just the jugular, they'll drain out and they will kind of flop a little bit. It is best to have very sharpened materials. <laughs> uh, and these clippers we've used a few times and so we got to figure out how to sharpen them. So. so then the next part that we do is you get your some boiling water going. You want it to be at about 150 degrees. Okay. You can get this really nice uh, like it's a turkey, it's a, like a turkey boiler or a fryer stand or boiling stand. You get your water to 150 degrees. You can go ahead and put that in there, Sammy. rooster did really really good in the or relatively good in the plucker the other one that was kind of a barnyard mix did not we ended up over scalding both of them so we're just gonna cook them up real fast and uh, use them for stew or something anyway or eat them for lunch or whatever but now Mark's over here cleaning them out getting all the guts and things
walking and everything. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Almost. There's always going to be a few little feathers. You just pluck those off. Do we need to get the knife sharpener out? Does that knife need to be sharpened? Or... Okay. All right. So these guys are working on this process. I think me and Deanna or... Where's that other little knife? Or me and Sammy, one of us is a couple of us are gonna start doing cleanup. Yeah, you can do cleanup. But bring her that little knife. Oh. We're gonna need to dump that pot out and put some clean water so you can put these in your bag. Right. Okay. Okay, so I was going to video me doing the bagging, and I forgot. So, we have our little labels, little bags. These are shrink bags. You stick them in, and you put them in water, hot water, and they shrink around the chicken. And so we're going to leave them in this cooler yes. with some ice overnight. And then they won't be too tough, hopefully. They won't go inside. So our our broilers, even though that first batch ended up being a disaster, <laughs> and I came to the final conclusion that it was not rationing the feed. They grew too fast and couldn't handle the the their heart couldn't handle it. And it was really fascinating harvesting them and looking at the heart and the lungs because the hearts were huge and the lungs were teeny. And it's like, no wonder they were having heart attacks because they were too fat. So it happens with those that particular breed. But uh, just as a final happy note on this, we've had our other chicks. They've been alive for a week. And we've only had two out of the 41 die. And we will start rationing food probably tomorrow. And just make sure that they aren't getting too much and growing too fast. Oh. So, thanks for joining us. I know it's kind of an interesting video with the harvesting of the broilers, but I know many of you are interested in that, and a lot of people are doing that now. And uh, I've come uh, come to the conclusion, as I've said before, that it's probably not something I'm going to do on a regular basis as far as the Cornish cross. But we will start really raising our own meat chickens and harvesting our own, and that'll be wonderful. So, anyway, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.